Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at chapter 20. Today, verses 41 to 44. Listen. And he said to them, How can they say that Christ is the Son of David? Now David himself said in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Therefore David calls him Lord. How is he then his son? <laughs> now this is interesting. You've got to connect this with the next the previous couple of mornings. They've been uh, bringing out their best questions, right? The Sadducees and the Pharisees and, and, the, and the scribes and so on. They, they come one by one. They come by and they, they throw Jesus these, these questions. It's like, you know, we're going to ask him this question. Wait, wait till you see this. He's not going to answer well. And he, he defeats them. Kaboom. Each one. And now they get, we noticed in verse 40, just before this, they said, we're, gonna, we're done. We're not going to ask any more questions. We just lose too much ground when we do that. So we're not going to ask him any more questions. So Jesus now turns around and flips the thing again, which is his common approach. He's always flipping things backwards in the opposite direction from what everybody expects. Jesus turns around and Jesus asks them a question. Huh. And by now they are, so, they are so alert, they're so aware. They know that they better not say anything. They'll be caught. They'll be caught. They are up against the, he who is the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. They're up against him. And if we think we're going to, you know, we're going to intellectually sort of overrun Jesus, we're going to ask him God a question that God can't answer. I mean, absurdity. So I like this, uh, this question here. The interesting thing here, Jesus is asking them a question about how they would relate to he, to him, Jesus. How could Jesus be the son of David? And of course, like I said, they can't answer him. But, and they're not going to. But Jesus is putting a question to them they should think a lot about. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. If Jesus is the guy that comes and is the king, he is God, he is on the throne of David, he is the ultimate eternal king, then what about this? The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You know, you got to reconcile yourself with this. God is God. God is God. And if your thoughts are not God's thoughts, you are wrong. If my thoughts and my desires are not right, then he's not wrong. I'm wrong. And many a time I've had to come to God and say, Lord, you and I both recognize these thoughts I've had are not right. They're not in harmony with your kingdom. These desires I've had are not in harmony with your kingdom. Now, Lord, please change my very thoughts. Change my very desires. Help me to be more like Jesus. You think he can do that? I know he can do that. We know it by experience. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for changing the very current, the very, the very essence of our thoughts and feelings. Uh, as we request it, we know you don't do this uh, without our permission. But Lord, you've given us a freedom, a liberty. And in that liberty, I seek your ways. Help each one to seek your desires uh, transform my desires to be like yours, transform my thoughts to be like yours, that I may serve you well in this part of my ex living experience here on planet Earth right now. Bless, Lord, we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen. We have such great privileges, no matter what suffering, no matter what sorrows, no matter what losses we experience, we have the great privilege of serving the King, serving the King. Jesus on the throne of David. May his blessings be upon you today.